Hi there, it's Hannah the Addison Duck and I'm going to show you today how I made this polymer clay heart wall hanging with gold foil inlay. So before we get started, I'm just going to give a quick run through of some of the bits we need for this project. So obviously you're going to need your clay. I'm using a pearl white and a gold and these are already conditioned and rolled through on my machine on a number three. You're going to need some tools to add some detail to your shapes and you're also going to need your cutting shapes. So I'm using this set of three hearts and each heart obviously fits inside the other. I will put some links below for some of the tools and supplies that I've used today. Um, you're also going to need um, some type of alcohol marker because this is how I'm going to colour the clay and then I won't get it out because it will fly away. I'm going to use some gold leaf as well. To get started I'm just going to layer my white clay on top of my gold and I'm going to use my acrylic roller just to go over it to make sure it's all nicely stuck down. And then I'm going to go in with my blade and I'm just going to cut off the excess clay so I can sort of see the, the size of the clay that I'm going to be working with. So that's the gold. And I'll just turn it upside down as well so I can cut off any excess white clay. So I'm going to go in and get my gold foil out now and I'm just going to cover this entire sheet with gold. So I'm just going to grab this and try and lay it down so it's as flat as possible. There we go. And I'm just going to rub that down onto the clay and then just sort of use my finger to break it off and remove the excess. So now I'm going to take the smallest of my heart cutters and we've obviously got the cutting end and we've got a blunter end which is usually where you would hold it to cut your shape. But we're going to turn it upside down and use the blunt end for now and we're just going to position that in the middle of our clay like so and we're going to just push down and the idea is not to cut through the clay, we just want to leave an indent of the heart, sort of deboss a shape, so to speak, like that, to make sure it's definitely sort of pushed in. I'm then going to go in with my um, sort of middle size heart, and again, I'm just going to turn that upside down and position that so the little heart is in the middle. Once you're happy that that's positioned, I'm just going to push down and do the exact same again. Obviously be careful if your blade, um, cutting shapes are really sharp you, you really need to not push your fingers on top. Mine aren't too sharp but um, you might need to just hold it at the side or use a block to press instead. But there we go, there's my heart shape. And now we're going to bring in some dotting tools. So I'm just going to use two different sizes of dotting tools just to add a little bit of detail to this middle sized heart. So I'm just going to take my tool and just go around and just press in some little dots and I'll then go in with a much smaller one just for those added details. You might find at this point that you've lost a little bit of the definition in the shape of your heart. If you have, you can just position this back on top again and make sure it's lined up properly and just go in and sort of push down to really sort of um, smarten up that shape. Just if you need to, you might not need to. I'm just going to bring in this tool here. So this is quite a blunt end. You just need something that's straight and blunt so you can sort of push in again. Um, you could also use maybe a wavy blade if you want to, something like that, but I'm just going to go in with straight lines for now. So I'm just going to start in the middle and push, and you just want to leave sort of a depth of impression again um, for the, so the gold leaf is going to sit down in those lines. So I'm just going to work my way around the heart and try and add the detail around the edge and I shall come back to you when I've done that. There 
there we go I mean that looks quite stunning on its own but I did forget to mention the most important thing you're going to need which is some sticky tape so grab yourself some tape this is um, like what you'd use to wrap presents with and I'm just going to lay it on top of my clay rub my finger over and when I pull back it should lift off the clay uh, the foil sorry that's not sitting in those grooves there we go so it's just leaving the detail that we have embossed into the clay just going to go again take it slightly further down and pull back and then I've just got the bottom section to do And if you know if you've got little bits that you think you need to get off still you just go in and just neaten it up if you like I quite like um, some of it left over because when, when it catches the light you'll just see it sort of glistening and shining so I'm not worried about perfect I just want it done near enough I'm not going to go in with my alcohol inks um, you could use like a, a runny alcohol ink just be really careful where you put it because I want to make each section of my heart a different colour. Um, if you're not bothered you could just sort of put it all over and this foil will still shine through. So whatever you would like to do. But I'm simply going to open up my pen and just lightly colour over the clay. This will lift up some of the clay if you sort of go over it too many times. So try to limit how much you're rubbing over and you might want some paper on the sides I've just got some off to the side here so you can go in and clean up your nib before you go back in again so I'm just going to do this one as pink and then I'm going to go in with a yellow and um, do this sort of middle sized heart if you find that your yellow has gone on to the, the first heart just you can just go back in and just sort of add a bit more pink if you'd like um, it doesn't actually bother me that much it's got quite a sort of a rustic handmade look if that makes sense um, and so I'm not worried about it being super perfect so I'm going to go in now with a lilac type of colour and I'm just going to colour up the outside and I'm just doing this in as little movement as possible because this does eat away at this clay quite badly and I've got quite a big surface to cover so now I'm going to go in with my larger cutting shape and I'm just going to line that up again. I'm just going to make sure that the dip inside the heart and the sort of the, the V point at the bottom is lining up with the other two that I've already got. There we go. I'm quite pleased with how that's lining up. So I'm just going to go ahead now and push out my shape. You could just leave it as this rectangle if you wanted to because I think that looks really pretty as well. But I'm just going to go through cut that clay out and carefully lift up that and then take the extra clay from around and there is our heart so now I'm just going to add a jump ring at the top so I can hang this as like a little wall hanging so I will just use my flexible blade to pick it up and I'm going to go from the bottom of the heart to do that I don't want to um, distort the top shape just scoop that up I'll just go around at this point and neaten up any edges if they need to be neatened up and then I'll go in with my jump ring I have shown this before but I'll show you how I add my jump ring I've got myself my craft knife and I'm just going to pick up my heart and I'm going to cut in where the two colours meet so I'm just going to cut across 
and the clay is obviously very soft so you don't need to press hard at all and your blade should be sharp so you should be able to get through that quite easily now you're going to take your jump ring and I like to put the jump ring in with the sort of the open side embedded into the clay and you're just going to find where you've cut and push the jump ring in and you need to leave enough of the jump ring visible so you can add your ribbon or whatever you would like to put on it so like that I'm going to put it down I'm going to carefully press on the front but I'm going to turn it over and really press at the back there just to seal the clay back together I don't want to press too hard on the front because I don't want to lose this lovely detail you can just see that that is in there now and you need to make sure you press in sort of inside where the jump ring is so the clay closes nicely around it there we go so I'm going to go ahead now and pop this in the oven and I will varnish them and come back and show you the finished result there's the finished heart and I've just added some sort of string at the top and it's had two coats of varnish because I've used a pearl clay and pastel coloured inks you've got that lovely shimmer coming through as well but that's the finished project I hope you've enjoyed that please do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it and want to see some more I shall put um, down in the description some of the tools I've used but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye